In tonight's Small Towns trip, we're giving you a behind the scenes look at a profession that used to thrive in small towns across Wisconsin. NBC 26's Eric Kress takes us to a pond for a fly on the wall look at a shoe cobbler's workshop that has stood the test of time. Brooks Shoes and Repair in downtown La Pond has helped hundreds of thousands of people put their best foot forward during its 80 plus years in business. There was a time when there was three full-time men that did repair work and they took in and repaired about 100 pair of shoes a week. Since the 1940s though, a lot has changed. Today, about 90% of their business is shoe sales, and the other 10% is shoe repair. We're here for the latter. I mean, I've, I hear there is some out there, but I have not actually met any other cobblers. The one part-time cobbler employed here today will tear through about 15 repairs a week. You're just taking the old leather and putting a new sole on it. Resoling boots is the number one fix here for their cobbler. Instead of paying $180 for a pair, we can resole it for $60. It's through a process of sanding away at the old and delicately cutting out the new that these weathered kicks can acquire a new sole, literally. With the condition I had, I mean, I could feel everything I was walking on. But now, I mean, it'll be just like new. The new feel, though, only happens thanks to the old tools. There's a reason for that. It's because they don't make that stuff anymore because there's nobody doing cobbler work anymore. From the stitcher to the stretcher to the auto nailer, all of these pieces of equipment are originals from the mid-1900s. It all passed down through the, through the years to different people to learn to trade to keep it up so it won't go away. And the good folks of Wapan, well, they get to reap the benefits of having this old timey profession that has been passed down through the decades and has helped this community put their best foot forward. Well, this is my first time and I really liked it so far. I'll probably do it again. In Wapan, walking a mile in a cobbler's shoes with photographer Josh Visti. I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26.